Each of these purple crosses representing a drug overdose death in Knox County since the first of the year. But behind every cross is a name, a face, a story. I lost my son Patrick Jones on May the 19th of last year. He was 21 years old. He struggled with addiction for several years. And the pain of losing a loved one, a pain so many other parents know all too well. My son Justin um, passed away January 27th of 2017. He had been clean and sober for six years. And I woke up and got a knock at the door one morning that I didn't think I would get. Kim and Sharon, among those planting the handmade, hand-painted crosses on Hill Avenue Saturday morning. Part of a memorial to honor those who lost their lives this year to the overdose drug epidemic. I want to bring awareness to this. There's 182 crosses out here right now, but group members say that they are reserving more space because they say sadly they know they'll be back to put out more. It doesn't discriminate between young, old, male, female. Uh, it can happen to anybody in, in anyone's family. And for the people driving by, seeing that patch of purple. I um, hope that they stop and think about why those crosses are there, that people have lost their loved ones, and that they will be more understanding and maybe help with more education in the community. Um, to help these numbers go down instead of continuing to increase. In Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side.